y'all. Welcome back to Krista's Kitchen. So today we're going to make a lemon blueberry loaf. Um, I found this super cute little um, loaf pan or bread pan at Walmart the other day that has the pre-measured slices in it. And on the same day, my Google must have known that I just got a new loaf pan because it started sending me blueberry loaf uh, or blueberry bread recipes. So I found this one, printed it off. Uh, let's see where it's actually from. I forgot where it's from. It doesn't say, but this is not my recipe, but we're going to try it out and see and um, kind of experiment. It looks so delicious though, and it looks really easy. So with this pan, it just measures out the slices for you, and I just think it's adorable. But I'll move y'all closer to the stove. We'll get started. And this just seems like it's going to be the perfect thing to kind of transition us into uh, the spring that we're hoping for already. But I'm going to move y'all up. Okay, y'all. In this little bowl back here, we've got some um, some butter melting. It's mostly melted, but it's going to keep going while we do our little flour mixture. But that's half a stick or a quarter um, a quarter of a cup. Now, in our big bowl, we're going to just make our streusel topping. So we need two thirds of a cup of all-purpose flour. tablespoons of granulated sugar to this regular sugar. I'm going to grab my teaspoon instead of my tablespoon. This is a half tablespoon, so we're going to do ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. And then we also need a half teaspoon of cinnamon. We'll do just a little bit more because we really like the cinnamon flavor. I'm just going to mix this all together. make sure it's all pretty evenly mixed so that whenever we pour it over the butter, the flavor and everything is all mixed together. So, like I said, this is a quarter of a cup of butter. I'm just going to finish melting these last little chunks of thing here. We're doing the streusel first so it can just kind of sit in the fridge while we make the batter. it all together. And we want a kind of crumb texture if we can. I typically prefer the recipes that use cold butter to kind of crumb it together. But again, this is not my recipe. So we'll just have to see. This is a first time for us. And it's not, it's crumbing together pretty good actually. There we go. And there's our super simple streusel. So I'm just going to put this in the fridge and let it sit. I don't even really know if we need to put it in the fridge. Let's see. Yeah, it says refrigerate until ready to use. So we're going to put it in the fridge. And now we're going to reuse this bowl for the next time. So we need a cup and a half of all-purpose flour for our batter. So that's our third cup. I'm done with that. We're going to use one cup. And about, it's a little over a half. Pour the rest of that in. Next, we need two teaspoons of baking powder. teaspoon of salt. And let's see. So, mix that 
all together. And let's see what our next step is. Well, it says we need another bowl, but I'm just going to create a well in the middle of this. And that's where I'm going to build my wet ingredients. Because, like I've said before, I hate, hate, hate extra dishes. So, at the center of this, we're just going to add in our wet ingredients. So we're gonna start, we don't even start with the wet, we start with something dry. So three quarters of a cup of sugar, and this is a quarter of a cup measuring. So one, two, three, and then it says one teaspoon, tablespoon of lemon zest. I don't have any lemon zest. So I'm just gonna skip that and add a little bit extra lemon juice for that flavor. But it says two tablespoons of lemon juice. And I actually, I have some lemons, so at the very end, I may just zest some skin myself. One, two, and remember this is a half tablespoon measuring that I have, so we're gonna need four plus, I'm gonna do one extra just because I want that extra flavor, that lemony flavor. Two eggs. And a third of a cup of vegetable oil. Oh darn, I forgot my vegetable oil. Again, best practice is to use a wet measuring cup for wet ingredients, but this one's dirty, so I'm going to use it. And then two thirds of a cup of Greek yogurt. I keep throwing that one third cup away and it keeps telling me that I need it. Watch, as soon as I keep it, I'll end up not needing it. So I just bought these individual Greek yogurts because we don't really eat a lot of Greek yogurt. I make my own yogurt, but well, that's about a third of a cup right there. That makes it easy. So one little, is this a four ounce? 5.3 ounce is about a third of a cup. So there's one. But what I was saying is I make my own yogurt for the most part, but we sweeten it and I mix in a lot of the whey. And so you don't get that thick Greek yogurt texture. So I just kind of make my own, or I buy my own if I need some Greek yogurt. And let's just whisk this all together. All right, let's see. I'm gonna use my dough whisk. We're gonna we'll whisk our wet ingredients together first and then we'll incorporate in the flour. Let's see if that's what it says to do. Oh, and it says add in the uh, vanilla extract. So. I didn't do that part yet. This is about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. There we go. So I'm mixing the wet ingredients and then we'll start kind of pulling in these dry ingredients. together until just combined. Very typical for a bread. Um, all right. So that part's done. I'm going to clean up a little bit and bring our blueberries over. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to see how much blueberries does it call for? One and three quarters. Of so we're going to take about a little over a cup and put it down in the bowl. Yeah, this is our half cup measuring. And then we're going to top it with just a little bit of flour so that they um, they don't all sink down in the bottom of the bread. 
this is just so that they'll kind of cling to some of that um, some of that dough and be a little bit more evenly dispersed. sprayed. And we're going to add our um, a little streusel and that last like half cup of our blueberries to the top. Like I said, y'all, this was a super simple recipe that kind of um, fell into my lap. And it was perfect timing. I really think that Google and all of these other things really do watch what we're doing. I mean, otherwise, how would they know that I got a new pan from Walmart and I needed something cool to try out in it? across the top. If y'all have watched any of my videos, y'all know that I don't measure a ton. <laughs> and I don't always follow things exactly. And that doesn't, that means you don't have to either. But just kind of tap those down just a little bit. We're going to pull our streusel out of the fridge, top it, and get it in the oven. I'm just going to sprinkle it over the top. You know, this was so simple. I hope that it's as yummy as it looks and sounds. And this could really be like a coffee cake kind of breakfast thing or dessert. I mean, it's definitely not your health food selection, but we, we eat donuts and cereal as a society for breakfast. You can have cake <laughs> or blueberry loaf or whatever. You laughing at me? Oh, you laughing at your kitten? Yeah. All right, y'all. We're gonna get this popped in the oven. Let's see how long we're cooking it for. I see. We're going at 400 for five minutes, and then at 350 for 55 to 65 minutes. Um, yeah. And 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 where are we going? No, we're gonna cook it. So five minutes to start. Okay, y'all, so our lemon blueberry loaf is all finished. Let it cool for a few minutes. I'm going to flip it out onto a little tray, and then I'm going to try and flip it over because I want this streusel part on the top. Um, in the video or in the recipe, she did recommend that we tint this with aluminum foil in the last, like, 15, 20 minutes. However, when I checked on it, um, my streusel was still pretty blonde, so I left it uncovered the entire 55 minutes, and... Toothpick came out perfectly clean, so pulled it out, and this is the point we're at now. Like I said, it's been cooling for about 10 minutes. I'm going to flip it over, and then I'm going to flip it again. This pan might be a little too small for it, but and there went strew, so that's okay. So pretty! And I pulled out a butter knife just in case I needed to loosen it, but I didn't. And I, want to, I just want to flip it out so bad. This is the only downside. I could have put another plate underneath it. There we go. And it's still pretty. But I like that it's got these little grooves that we can see a perfect slice. I'm going to use my bread knife to slice it. And I'll clean all that up, y'all. Don't worry. But just to see how it looks. Oh, it's still so super soft on the inside. to see how it turned out. So pretty. And look, it's super moist right there. So, 
Eleanor is waiting very close by. Do you want to come taste it with me? It looks yummy. It does look yummy. Oh, we've got a ton of blueberries in it. All right, you get the big piece. Mm. Careful, it's hot, hot, hot. And I'll get the smaller piece. And let's taste it and see how it turned out. I didn't take a bite yet. Mmm. Mm. Very blueberry. Mm. Not too sweet. I'm very happy for that. I didn't take a bite with the shrusel in it, but it's not overly sweet. Mm. Even better with that shrusel. I think it's a win. You, what you think? It's good. <laughs> you have it hot. It is hot in here. <laughs> Do you like it though? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If y'all like my videos, comment down below if you do. But this was a huge win. And I definitely think it's something I'll be repeating. But. Mm, and give us good. a huge thumbs up. Yes. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe for more of our content. And thank y'all for joining us. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.